so now I created another branch to get the data yeah so I, I'm going to be selecting all my elements basically yeah so th this was where we actually left off from the other video so what did I do this these are just dummy data right good so I, I gave all of them ID this will be the location I gave all of them ID latitude ID I gave all of them ID right so as I give all of them ID you know this is what we have right so since these are just dummy data I'm going to comment everything out that's what I'll do now I'll comment everything out then because I'll, 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 I'll not be needing them I just put them there so I'll know the style that I'm working with yeah so everything is gone good so now I go to my JavaScript so this is what I've done I selected all those ID right I selected the name I selected the latitude I selected it I selected humidity I selected temperature I selected description I selected pressure I selected this and this you understand good now I selected input field so now if you check here you see that the form itself has an ID of form then the input as an ID of input should right good so this is it so I'm selecting everything here right so initially now we'll come back to this web diary that I created this empty array we'll come back to it so now I wrote the function I created a function for to get the weather so now this is the URL string the function is I'm passing in a location a parameter called location that location I'm going to pass in is also what to be a query here in the URL, right? Good. So this is my API key. I'm sure you guys will have gotten your own API key. So this is my API key. This is the location. This is the URL. So now I'm going to what make a fetch call. So fetch this URL, right? I'm putting a first dot then block. I'm getting a response that response I'm getting now I'm going to convert it to JSON I'm getting the JSON response then I put another dot then block I'm getting the data after I've converted this to JSON the data follows com comes after the JSON right so I make sure I get the data so now what did I do now I created an empty array right so all the data I'm going to be getting, all the data I'm going to be getting, I'm going to push it inside this empty array. So I said weather array dot push data, right? I'm going to be pushing it. I'm going to be pushing it. The data is an object, so I'll be pushing those data into this empty array, right? So I'm console logging data, and I'm also console logging the weather array. That is the array, the weather array. Good. You know the weather array is empty from here, right? So in this other dodem block, it will not be empty again because I'm putting this data I'm getting inside the array, right? Good. So I'm console logging it. You see it in my console log. So I have a catch um, statement here. If, if I have an error, I'm going to console log it. So I have another function. This function is undo submit, right? I'm going to call undo submit when I run a submit event on the form. See, this form here is what I selected, right? So I'm going to listen. That form is this form. Look at it here. That form is this ID of form. Good. I selected it. I selected it. So I'm going to listen for a submit event. So when the form gets submitted, a submit event, I'm going to call and do submit this callback good so now this is the callback now that i'm making here so the callback as an event so what did i do initially e dot prevent default the e dot prevent default means um so the, the thing is on a regular when your web page loads when you submit a form 
it, it just reloads it reloads you understand it automatically reloads so i'm preventing it from reloading that's the meaning of it or prevent the fault so now get weather i'm going to run this get weather function here that i created here you know i'm passing a location so now that location i'm passing it it's not be what input field dot value so now the value i input here if i impute lagos now hmm? if i impute lagos or i impute um let's say kenya so now this it will now be what i use to call the location you understand that kenya will now be the location so that's it that's input field of value i selected that input field look at it i selected that input field and i'm getting the dot value that what what the, dot, the value of the input field is what i'm writing inside you understand so i now said after this i call it with it so now after i've called it i'm now going to what set it to an empty string if you don't set it to an empty string and you call kenya when you want to create call another when you want to call another um input when you want to put another input you still see the same kenya so you have to set it to an empty string so that's basically what i've done yeah so now let's make our first call so you see what i'm talking about so now let me see lagos i'm in lagos lagos i'm submitted then you see what returns right good so this is the data that returns you know i'm pushing this data into this array right so this is the weather array i'm pushing it because i after submitting i made it an input imp, i made it an empty field right that's why you are seeing that the lagos has gone away now let me type in kenya Kenya, I'm submitting now. You see now, I've pushed this other value inside the array. So we have two objects inside the array now, right? Good. So that's what I did. So you see the usefulness of this array that I created. You see the usefulness, right? Good. So now, there's a problem. Because if you reload this page, this array will be empty initially it's empty right if you reload this page this array will be empty so here's the fix what we have to do now is to save this array you are getting now save this array inside local storage we are going to save this array inside local storage when you check your um, applications here on your google Chrome, you see local storage local storage there's nothing inside my local storage now right so key value there's nothing there right now there's nothing there because we have not saved anything inside local storage so now let's make another search let's see um let's see london good you see i'm adding it into the array so that's awesome super